Australia 7 for 349. Actually, an overthrow to complete that over. Hamid, for some unbeknown reason, decided to have a lash at the stumps, even though the batsman was in his crease. So some overthrows added to Travis Head. He's now at 114. Ash for Anaconda. Yeah, just with uh, Chris Wokes, a JB, from five test matches here in Australia, he's taken 11 wickets, but his bowling average currently tracking at 50, opposed to his bowling average at home at 23. Yeah. There you go. Wokes is going to be running in from the Vulture Street end to bowl to Travis Head around the wicket. He comes. That's allowed to pass through. So, Hats. I was talking to Tubby years ago about you know, fast bowling, and he, he said, "Oh, you know, I, I, he said sometimes I feel for bowlers because the pitches in Australia are flat, and there's you know when, when the ball gets old, there's not much you can do." He said, "I'll tell you what I'd like to see added to the fast bowler's armoury is the ability to bowl the doodle bug, <laughs> the one that doesn't land, <laughs> the one that you just go straight at him and go, have you had some of that if you're on 100 and it's flat?" And we saw it yesterday with oh. Travis Head. I've had a New South Wales teammate that used that ball. <laughs> Pulled away. Beautiful shot in front of square for a boundary. Travis Head picking up where he left off. Keep going, Heads. Yeah, I played with Dougie Bollinger, and, and now and then you get that flat wicket, whether it be Adelaide Oval, the SCG, and, and you say to Dougie, we just need to play with their feet a bit. They're, they're dictating terms to us. He said, leave it with me. Um, <laughs> But being captain, you're going to be in some trouble here. I go, what do you mean? He goes, he used to bowl a bean ball. Oh, no. On purpose. <laughs> and he put his hand up and say, sorry. <laughs> He'd say, sorry, walk back to the mark. And all of a sudden, you'd walk past Doug and say, mate, what are you doing? He said, off the thigh pad, back with a square, a single. Keep going. He'd say, well, now it has their feet are everywhere. <laughs> They're second guessing when I'm going to bowl a bouncer. So I don't recommend it. No. But... And but this is the it Australian works. of the year. Can, can I this jump is a, in This here? is one of the great myths of our country, can, by the way, Mark. For, for, for our listeners out yeah, Go on. That's not true. Oh. Only, well. I, I, will, I will admit to, um, as, as a net bowler myself, who right. used to roll them in at yeah. about 105 k yes. now, and that's what I bent the bat. Yes. Occasionally, a batsman in the nets would take to me. Advance uh, it. And, yeah. and I, a bit like Dougie Bollinger, would throw the odd doodle bar oh. in just to, just to get him back. <laughs> Get them back in their crease so a bit. It's true. It's true. I, I did never, never encourage my bowlers to use it in the game. No, that's not true. Wokes to Stark and he pounds what it shot. past mid on. Good shot. Boundary Ooh. for Mitch Stark moves to 18 and it's a 211 lead for Australia. Uh, particularly someone like you know, Steve War or Mark Ward, particularly yeah. if they were starting to knock me around the nets a little bit, I just. Yeah. Just, just a, you know, but as I said, it's 105 k's. It's not 145. <laughs> well, there is a famous story in a one day. I reckon it was a semi-final or final back in the 70s. Very flat Gabba pitch. Greg Chappell batting Dennis Lilly bowling, <laughs> and uh, the great DKs apparently run in, and no one had done this in 75. <laughs> Greg's advanced down the track a couple of metres oh. and just plastered him wide and mid off for a boundary. Oh. Anyway, and so Dennis is just finishing the follow-through as in comes Wokes again, a bouncer and no run. Apparently, as the ball's disappeared past mid-off, Dennis has said to him, you stay in the crease and I'll let the ball bounce. You come <laughs> at me again and I guarantee it won't bounce. It won't bounce. <laughs> uh, so straight away, your feet aren't moving where they should next ball. <laughs> so Dougie right. Bollinger before his before time. His time. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, oh. I do remember seeing Gladstone Small. Ooh. You know, England opening bowler, very good bowler, Badger Small, played at South yes, Australia. Yes, he did, yep. I saw him run through the crease once oh, no. and bowl a bouncer. But it, was a, it was a bounce on a beam from about 18 metres away. Wokes, outside edge, and no run finishes the over. We'll continue that next. Seven for 358.